Now we are going to do our connections. Postgres, go, all that, y'all. And uh, to create our connections, we're going to go back and look at this documentation. We don't need that anymore. Don't need that anymore. Don't. Oh, we did need that. Maybe. And uh, we're going to need these things. In particular, we'll just bring that one in manually. You want to make sure you go get this. So go get. If I'm saying stuff that doesn't make sense to you when you're watching these videos, you need to come take this entire course right here. That's the one. And then go into that one. All right. So, uh, I need that. Now bring in, and that is the blank identifier, so it just does some setup, right? And uh, it makes it so that we could use the Postgres driver, basically. And then we're going to do a connection string. So might as well type it. And a connection string is a string. So we can do var con, what do they call it, str string up here, and we could do con string is equal to, and now we just need to put our stuff in here, so, am I recording? recording. We go look at Go look at here. I'm going to need a DB name. So I'm going to do DB name is equal to, and it looks like from the example, there's no quotes around that stuff. So I'm going to do DB name is equal to Thanksgiving, right? And user is equal to turkey. And password is equal to gravy. So we got db name, user, password, and host is equal to localhost. And port is equal to 5234, which comes from Postgres port 5432. And uh, localhost, port, DB name, connect time. I don't know if we need to connect timeout. Let's see if that's enough. They have user, DB name, SSL mode. Maybe there was something else. Did we have something else last time? Host, port, SSL mode. Oh, we had SSL disable. Or verify full, verify required. We're going to do SSL disable, SSL mode disable. All right, so we don't have to have any secure socket layer, which is this HTTPS stuff. I think we're good. And uh, and then we could ping. We could create our DB connection, and we could ping it. And so our DB is going to be here. And when we open SQL open, we get type DB. Pointer to type DB with SQL open. So we could say that var DB is from package SQL to pointer to from package SQL type DB, right? And then down here we could do DB, and it's open is going to do a DB and an error. DB comma error is equal to SQL open and Postgres and it's con string. 
And uh, we need up here, so we don't redeclare and shadow, we need var air is of type air. It's used right there, man. And if we get an error, we're going to do and uh, and then we can come down here and we can do db ping. And what does ping give us? King returns an error. And do lame programming here for a moment. No open database for you. And then uh, we'll just at the open of main, we'll say when main shuts, close our connection. Yeah? So what do you think about all that? We have our templates, we have our connection string. Do we need our connection string outside of and it, I don't think so, right? So I think we could just have that there. I don't think we need it up here. So you have our TBL and our DB, which is package level scope. And then we do our templates. And then we do our connection string and open our DB. That could all be grouped together. And then we ping it. And then we enter main. And we uh, defer closing it. See what happens, people. Ping successful. So we're connected. Yeah! How many people found that helpful to go through that 45 minutes? Yeah? Yeah? What do you need tonight? You're tired tonight. 